Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to access VB Editor in Excel and the structure of VB Editor. In today's video tutorial, we will learn how you can record a macro, then also how to use the relative references and absolute references and also you can also go to the back end and learn from the code by decoding within the micro then how we can improve in it so let's get started okay here i have the new workbook here and to record a macro we will go into the developer tab okay and uh, within the developer tab we have this group called code okay and we have this option called record macro so now let's record a macro that will cover the cell so a1 and, and i will select some other cells somewhere far off okay and what macro needs to do is to select the cell and color the cell so clicking on this button which is called record macro and as soon as i click on this button okay it opens in the, the dialog box which asks for a macro name okay let me say um color a1 okay let me say color a1 okay next is a short cut key i can give a keyboard shortcut key to it but be a bit cautious when you do it let's say for example i give the keyboard shortcut key to the control s okay okay then this keyboard shortcut key all right but note that is the keyboard shortcut key inbuilt in the z itself so if you are not using a macro control f is a shortcut key to save your workbook but if you use this macro and give this keyboard shortcut key as control s to this macro then whenever you press control f then this macro will be wrong and it will not save your workbook so be a bit cautious in this case let's say we want to use the the keyboard shortcut key control shift x okay now this is this we store the macro in this workbook you can also store it in the personal macro workbook or the new workbook or we can also store it in the this workbook so whichever you wish okay now as soon as i click on what okay i'm going to save this on this work one as soon as i click on okay okay button the name is saved and the keyboard shortcut key is saved now it will start tracing my action so as as of now i have the i have so let's see h9 selected and i'll go back and i will select the cell a1 then i will go to the home tab okay then and color this let's say let me say color call, let me color this as a color yellow so i will use the filling the color option up there and then that is it so i'll go to the developer tab right up here and i will stop the my recording okay now you can also come here just down there and stop also stop your recording okay and when i stop it the macro the macro has been recorded at the back end now let's go back and see what this has recorded okay so here i will press the virtual basic button okay you can see then button or you can use the control shortcut click alt f level here you will see that it has automatically introduced the folder here okay which is what the um, the module folder is uh, because whenever i record a macro it gets recorded 
uh, in a module and this module has already been inserted okay when i double click on it okay when i double click on it it's it it, uh, it shows me the code now you can see that i just did two things i selected the cell okay and i gave it a background color why there are some other lines in the code but this is how recording a macro works it will have a lot of codes okay and a lot of lines that are redundant so i can remove a lot of lines okay from here but as of now let's keep it and let's go through this macro so to the so to the map uh, so the macro always start with sub okay because this is a sub routine or a procedure and the name of this color is what color a1 it will always hang with what with and so and between between these we have the code here okay Okay, yeah. Now, anything which is here after the apostrophe, okay, anything which is after the apostrophe in the green color in the is a comment, is a comment, which means that in this case, this line is not executed. It is only there for the purpose of understanding this macro. So, the user has put it as a comment. So, if I want, if I want, I can delete it and if i put in some comment in the macro ball then it will definitely appear here but this is redundant it is it's a good practice to put comment if you have a, if you have a big code and you want other people to use it and understand it but otherwise you can skip this now let's go through this code now the code says range a1 dot selected which will be cell a1 which i did okay so the first thing that it does is it select the cell a1 then it then with the selection okay which means that now all this line with 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 which follows this command will be executed okay so it says with selection dot interior okay with the interior in the in the cell all these things uh, happen just as the the pattern x solid the pattern color index x automatic the color six five five three five then the tint Hard shade go to zero than the pattern in shade. So all this thing happen there. Now I have I have only changed the color. I really don't need these four lines here. I really don't need it. Okay. So if I delete it, the, uh, if I delete this line, I don't think anything will, ha will happen. But before that, let's go back to our normal uh, zero. Okay. Let's go back to our normal zero okay and let's see if this code will work okay let's see this code so i'm going to introduce a new worksheet okay here i will go to macros okay i will go to macros okay and give it a clear it opens where my macros name is listed okay which is of color a1 as soon as i run it okay as soon as i run it it see what happened okay it select the cell which is what the where the color is okay and as soon as i you can see that now let's get to the code itself okay let's get to the code itself let's get to the code itself. so as soon as i run it select the cell we want cell and get the yellow code now let um let's cut short the code now so i don't need this two line here i don't need it okay good 
okay and i don't need these two line here right likewise okay i don't need it also okay good okay good so i know this because i have been coding for quite some time but if you do not understand this you can leave it as it is there is no harm in leaving it but if you want this to get improved and the code to be shorter then you need to play around when it will play around with it and understand what the code exactly okay those are the four line of code that was reasonable so i only want to change the color okay i only want to want to check it so i will keep this here and also here this uh, the with selection dot integer okay selection dot integer okay i don't need it so let me get rid of it so what i will do is i will say range a1 dot interior okay okay dot interior dot color okay 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 so i'm going to remove this end with likewise okay let me close it okay so okay so so that is it so what i'm telling this code is that i don't care where you are in the worksheet just color the color a1 for me okay just color the color a1 for me with yellow and then let's see now how it works let me open the a new workbook okay let me open the new workbook okay let me open the new workbook now and i will go to macros i go to macros then select the color a1 then and then i will then i will click on run you can see you can see that it said get color so you can see that how big code that i got using this uh, macro has been auto uh, automatically cut short and most of the ma macro functionality functionality is working and i can convert it into a, a single line of code this is how you can play around with the code now in this case had it did not matter where i was it always went back to sell a one and its color it too all right let me stop from here in my next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to use relative references and absolute references inside a mac code code group okay thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the uh, function bye